back and say, here, kitty, kitty. And he still stinks. He still still going to spray in your face. Amen? My goodness. We've let down the guard. Nobody watching the gate. No wonder this book is the most attacked in the history of man. No wonder that more men of God have died defending this book in any other way. No wonder they tried to stamp it out, to stomp it out, to keep the English version from being brought forth and sent forth to the world. It wasn't all of them. It was the force behind it. You know, we point our finger at our enemy all day long, but behind him, you may have to look way behind him. But it's the same one that in eternity past said, I will ascend above the throne of God. I will be like the Most High. It's Lucifer, and he ain't stupid. Amen? He's not some little red guy with a pointed tail on a greeting card or on a can of ham. He is your adversary. It is the devil. And he goes about to and fro seeking somebody to devour, the Bible says. And if he finds your gate with nobody watching the... If he finds nobody watching the gate, if he finds your city with no watchman on the wall, if he finds your city with no watchman at the gate, then you've already made it easy, easier for him than it would have been. What do you think the enemy would have thought in the Old Testament had they approached the city and they sent their spies out to check it out and the spies came back, Brother Sleese, and they said, you ain't going to believe this. They don't have any watchmen. There's nobody guarding the gate. You see, it was the walls that kept them out, but without the guards, without the watchmen, they could, they could get over the walls. They could get in the gate. Somebody had to be standing there to cry out and say they're coming to blow the trumpet and say it's time to fight. But if they found a city that had no watchman, that had no guard, and that's what he finds most of the time whenever he comes visiting the, most Christians. No guard. Nobody watching the game. Somebody staggered around out on the battle, <clears throat> out on the battlefield <clears throat> without no helmet on, without no shield, without no sword, confessing that everything's all right. Amen. Confessing that oh yeah, I'll be all right. Everything's all right. I don't, I don't, I don't accept this situation. I'm going to think myself out of this while you stand there naked before the enemy and his forces without any weapon, without any defense shield whatsoever because you have forgotten to guard the gate. And you stand there naked without any armor for the enemy to attack. I'm telling you, it's time that we set the guard at the gate. It's time that we put on this helmet that we wrapped the loins of our mind in the Word of God. Because you think we've seen deceit? You just wait till the Antichrist comes. Ain't nobody ever had as much charisma as that man's going to have. Ain't nobody ever had as much power to deceive as this man. And if you can't withstand these Hollywood feel-good guys, if they can deceive you, I feel sorry for you. Because this guy's going to have more power the Bible says he's going to use signs and wonders. Mm -hmm. We got Christians that will simply accept the man if he can do a trick. Yeah. If he can pull a rabbit out of his hat, Brother Sleese, oh, he must be a man of God. Mm -hmm. Amen? Read over there in the book of Acts. Simon had bewitched them. How? He had, he had convinced them he was a man of God. How? Because of his powers. Because of his magic. I'm not too sure... And I ain't going to name no names. I could. Because I've watched some of them and felt creepy while I was doing it. I'm not too sure that some of the forerunners of the Word of Faith doctrine, those that supposedly had the power, I'm not too sure that they weren't demon-possessed. Because they heard voices. But then they taught things that were complete opposite to the Word of God. And that, that lets that, my, my watchman begins to tell me that something ain't right there. Amen? Watchman, what of the night? Guard our minds. Instead of teaching our children the Word of God so that it, they can have a guard at the gate, 
Here, take this sandwich and go watch Scooby. Take this sandwich and go watch the Smurfs. Take this sandwich and go watch Wizards of Waverly Place. Take this bowl of cereal and go sit down and watch vampires and witches and warlocks and the things that the parents just all oh, <laughs> there's nothing to that. Yeah. As they begin to infiltrate your child's mind through television, through toys, through games, through videos. Hey, we're all going to go see the Harry Potter movie. You want to load up and go with us? Sure. Can I go, Mom? Sure, sure. Mom and Dad have no idea what the movie's about or anything else. Why? No guard. No guard at the gate. The Bible says, and I'm closing. I hate to. I can really tell you. <clears throat> Fart up about it. Hosea 4 and 6. Hosea 4 and 6 says, My people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. Did you hear that, Brothers Lee? Mm -hmm. for, for lack of knowledge. Because thou hast rejected knowledge, God said, I will also reject thee. Now he's talking about knowledge. Now where does knowledge come from? He ain't talking about the knowledge you get at the college. He's talking about the knowledge of the Word of God. People perish are destroyed. Why? Because of the lack of the Word of God. Proverbs 29 and 18 says, Where there is no vision, the people perish. But he that keepeth the law, happy is he. The law is the Word of God. You perish. There is no vision. You have no helmet. You have no guard. There is no guard at the gate. There is no watchman on the wall where there is the lack of God's Word. It's important today. While I was reading this and I was thinking about the different things that the Lord, the direction the Lord was leading, I thought about Amos. And if you read the book of Amos, it's not very long. It wouldn't take a lot of your time, but it would bless you to do so. They came to him, Brother Sleece, and they said, Listen, buddy, won't you go preach somewhere else? We don't like what you're preaching. <laughs> That's what they told him. We don't like what you're preaching. Don't preach here no more. Go somewhere else. And in the very next chapter... Amos would tell them there's coming a day when you won't be able to find the Word of God. You will go from sea, from one sea to the other looking for the Word of God and not be able to find it. Why? Because in chapter 7 they rejected it. Oh, listen to me. There's coming a time. I know you're turning off this old crazy preacher that you're hearing on the radio. You got your finger on the button. You're getting ready to click us off or turn us off on the internet. There's coming a time you'll wish you'd have left us on. There's coming a time you'll wish that you would have adhered to what we were talking about and put down your best life now hardcover copy that's number one on the New York uh, Times bestseller list and picked up an old-fashioned Bible and begin to read it for yourself. Because the Bible says there's coming a day when those that who have rejected the Word of God, it says there will be a famine in the land. Amos 8 and 11. Not a famine of bread, not a thirst of water, but of hearing the words of of the Lord. God will only deal with you for so long. We will only have His Word with us for so long. And then it will be cut off. Then we will go and try to find it and won't be able to because we have rejected the Word of God. And today, if we do not put on our helmet while we're in the battle, if we do not put on our helmet and set a guard and put the watchman at the gate, we will suffer the consequences thereof. What one generation tolerates, the next generation accepts. When the one generation lets down the guard and does not have the watchman sit on the walls and does not have the guards there and the Word of God, the helmet, when they neglect that, the next generation, well, we've got them today. They accept anything and everything that the world has to offer, never ever measuring it against the scale of God's Word. Our helmet, our shield, our guard. Hallelujah. Someone else have something this morning before we go on?